Pisces, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, April 5th. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. At the heart of your reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. At the moment, you are focused on meeting no one else's needs but your own. Typically, you'd be the person taking care of everyone else. Have you had enough to eat? Can I cook for you? Do you need anything? Can I help you? Do you need a ride somewhere? At the moment, you are redirecting all of that energy toward what do you need. Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck suggests what you need might be to make room for a partner in your life or more love and support from your partner. What's the challenge for Pisces? World, the world energy as a challenge. This says you're being faced with a choice to make a fresh new start in life. But it's, it's, it must not be an easy choice if it's a challenge. Any fresh new start is predicated upon leaving the past behind. So that's likely the difficult part of this decision. You're focused on the Five of Cups reversed. Maybe it's not about what you need to leave behind, but it's something that's already left you behind. Five of Cups Reverse says that you've already grieved a loss and you're on the upswing. You're, you're starting to feel better about things, accepting it and moving on. Show me the recent past. Knight of Cups Reversed. I think this is either an apology or a confession potentially about cheating, Three of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck, or some sort of um, emotional exploit outside of a relationship. Show me the energy of the environment. Temperance. Spirit is acting as a bridge for you right now between where you are and where you're headed. More so than at other times in your life. There's spiritual alchemy going on within you, within your being, strengthening you, changing you into the version of yourself that's going to thrive in this new world, in this new opportunity, in this fresh new chapter that you're writing for yourself. In the near future, we have the Six of Cups. Yes, things still can be beautiful and pure and lovely. I'm just getting a really strong sense of like renewed hope, but it's through evidence. It's not just, it's not only something that comes from within you, although it originates there. You might not be as aware of this shift internally, but you will become quite aware of it when you see it in your external environment. Something that renews your faith in true love. You might experience it directly, or you might witness it in your environment. 
Either way, it's going to impact you very strongly in a positive sense. It's going to feel very healing and very, um, yeah, like renewed hope. I just want to say it feels like profound. I don't want to just gloss over that. Of course, it's it's up to you and your own individual experience how this is going to impact you. But for those of you that I'm connecting with, this is something that's really going to hit you at, at your core in a positive sense. Show me surprise energy for Pisces. Oh, a new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is the seed that you can plant and nurture to grow into the life that you want. This is what's available to you on the other end of this threshold that you're going to decide to walk through that represents something that you're destined for, your life purpose. Show me hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You have concerns about the concept of abundance, whether materialism is inherently bad, or um, prosperity, or wealth is inherently bad. This might make you hesitate to take this opportunity because I think it's going to indicate strong potential for a lot of wealth. It might bring up um, your beliefs surrounding wealth and money and abundance. For some of you, you're worried about this fresh new start, whether or not you can make money at it. Like following your passion, following a dream, following your destiny. And I have to say, I am. I have also been getting vibes here of um, someone following a spiritual path, like on a on a path of spiritual ascension. Some of you may have picked up on that when I was talking about stepping into a new world. Um, in which case. There's echoes of what I was just talking about, but taking it from a spiritual perspective, like um, if I follow a spiritual path, is it ethical to charge for that? How do I reconcile the fact that I'm devoting my life to a spiritual path while still needing to live in a 3D physical environment that requires that I pay bills? I feel like it's, it's that sort of a quandary as well. Show me the end result for Pisces. Fear not, dear Pisces. Where you end up is your ideal emotional fulfillment. Um, so no matter what the, the trappings, the way you're going to feel is the happiest that you can be at that moment in your life. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Let's see your advice. How can Pisces work with these energies for their highest and best good? Um, King of Swords as advice says, you're, you're faced with a very important decision right now. Don't take it lightly. The choices that you make now leading up to this big shift in your life are going to have implications as to how the next chapter of your life plays out. So make sure to think it through. 
choose the wiser option when faced with various options. And when you feel like you don't have all of the information necessary to make the decision, ask for it. It will become available to you if you ask. If you need advice, ask for it. Even if you don't know who to ask for, uh, who to ask, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. If you need advice and you don't have anyone to ask, tell spirit, tell the universe, tell God, I need advice. As it will either come in the form of inspiration or a download, or the universe will line up people who have the right information that you need, the right advice that you need to hear for that choice that you're making in your life. Pisces, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.